Welcome everybody. I'm back y'all with another video. So this is definitely going to be a collective read. <laughs> so the energy may or may not resonate with you. If it happens to resonate, all the better. Um, if it happens to resonate, guys, be sure to hit the thumbs up as well as share with your family and friends and like and subscribe. All right. So <laughs> somebody has been struggling with dating. Okay. So it looks like we got the struggle is real and tendering. Tendering is online matching, dating, mingling. Okay. Now we got the struggle is real and um, tendering. That's the energy of this read. Somebody is going through a little struggle with their date life, okay? So, it looks like for some, this person, this could be you um, or someone who's trying to possibly connect with you may be having a hard time connecting with you because maybe there is an age difference, okay? And a lot of people are like, you know, shaking my head. Shaking my head is no words, can do any adjustment, can do any justice, or being disappointed. So somebody's disappointed, okay, about their love life, okay? So love life looks like it's the topic of today. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to jump into the love oracle and then we'll just get the energy. So what's going on with the collective? What message do you have for the collective? All right, see, yeah, we got to stay optimistic about your love life. So for some of you, you could be separated from someone. Um, we got separation here. So you could be separated from someone and you're disappointed about it. Or this could be vice versa. Now, Spirit is saying stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. All right, so that's speaking on positive affirmations. Not being too down in the dumps because something didn't go in your favor. Finding solutions instead of reasons why, you know, your love life may not be where, it's, where you want it to be. Let go of control issues. So, yeah, and then we still got separation here at the bottom. So, for some, you you and this person are already separated. For some, a separation could be on the horizon because somebody here has control issues. Somebody here wants to control the relationship, want to control the finances. Whatever it is, somebody wants to have control. Spirit says, allow this situation to unfold naturally. So, somebody is trying too hard to control the situation or try too hard to control the situation. And that's possibly why you and this person is in a separation period. Give me one more card. Oh, I got two. All right, so it looks like somebody is trying to make some type of effort um, on trying to heal this situation. This could be you or the other person. I see some flirting going on, so somebody could be doing some flirting and getting to know each other, so maybe We'll see if either one of you guys were going to reach out, plan to reach out. It looks like some flirting needs to be going on. Um, so y'all can get to know each other on a deeper level. Okay, so we're going to put these to the side. Now let's jump into the tarot so we can get a little bit, a little bit deeper into it. All right, give me a message for the collective in their love life. What's going on with the collective in their love life? The 
my sister you have for the collective. All right, I'm going to shuffle three more times, then we're going to jump right into it. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we got the Six of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Okay, so this is ultimately, ultimate success. Okay. Look, somebody's feeling, okay. What I'm getting here is Six of Wands and a Ten of Cups. This is like saying someone saying congratulations. Like this is a big congratulations. But at the same time, somebody here is regretting a decision that they made. Somebody's regretting a decision that they made, but let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. We got the moon as the first card here. Oh, five of wands. Somebody's jealous. Somebody got somebody's jealous as hell. <laughs> All right, we got the seven of cups. Oh yeah, confusion. A lot of confusion going on. Somebody is living in the illusion. The tower. Sheesh. All right, we got the emperor and the queen of cups. The nine of wands. Four of Pentacles, a star, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Now the Moon and the Five of Wands here, for sure, for sure, there is some type of disagreement. Somebody is upset about something, for sure. Possibly upset about a decision that was made. Or somebody's just flat out confused. But with that tower here, yeah, something has been shaken up for sure. Tell me more about this moon card here. King of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. But somebody... All right, this could be in regards to finances as well. But somebody's trying to keep something balanced. And it looks like somebody's trying to keep their finances balanced. Okay, tell me more about the King of Pentacles. Oh, Four of Cups. Yeah, there is disappointment here. So, somebody doesn't feel secure. That's what it's, that's what it's looking like. You may not feel secure in the situation. Tell me why the Five of Wands is here. Yeah, there definitely is like a argument, a fight, possibly even a breakup with that three of swords. It's just too many people. I see that as well. But there's that oh, the knight of wands and the devil. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> There's some really. I don't really like that energy. That energy is kind of sneaky. Uh, why is the tower here? Eight of Wands, yeah. So some shocking news came out of the blue or is getting ready to come out of the blue. Um, tell me more about this shocking news. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Or somebody's about to get ready to get a phone call or a message out of the blue. Two of Wands, yeah. It's, it's very soon. Okay, there's could possibly be some type of ending with the Ten of Swords here. So there could have already been an ending, and it happened out of the blue, all, out of, all of a sudden. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody does not feel secure. Like, is that's what I'm getting. Like, somebody doesn't feel comfortable or doesn't feel secure about something. About the connection with the Two of Cups. So they could be waiting to make their move. Could be dealing with the Cancer with this Chariot card here or the Virgo or a Taurus.
Somebody's thinking of what they should do, their next move. Somebody's already thinking about their next move. Now, with the Seven of Cups here, somebody got some options. Empress. Oh, yeah, somebody got some options. This could be other females. The Empress card is the Mother card as well. But it's just giving me female or male energy here with this King of Swords. Tell me more about this Empress. The Wheel of Fortune. Somebody could be a Libra. Somebody just feels stressful. Like somebody stressed out about stability or their home life. That's what it looks like here. So it looks like some type of argument or disagreement may have, um, may have happened. Now with the emperor here in the past energy, that's that control energy that we just saw in the last deck. Okay, the emperor, this is, could be someone older than you, a male or female. We got the empress and the emperor here. So, it's like you guys are a match, definitely, but it looks like definitely like there's something that just happens out of the blue, some type of disagreement, and it looks like it's about like stability. Why is the emperor in here? The page of swords. Okay, you may have been watching this person, or this person could have been watching you. Oh, we got the lovers and the knight of swords. This person is impulsive. This person likes to run off. Why is the page of swords here? Three of Pentacles. You just keeping an eye on this person. Like, what are they doing? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Queen of Swords. Yeah, you, you're pretty, like, strict <laughs> in the past. Yeah, you was keeping an eye on this situation, this person. Now, the Queen of Cups is future energy. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. So, let's see. Why is the Queen of Cups here? The Knight of Cups. So, it looks like someone is getting some type of offer or gesture, a nice gesture. An apology, possibly. Yeah, I'm getting like there could possibly be like some type of apology, a possible like gift here with the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Um, yeah, I'm seeing communication being open. But right now, some of y'all are shutting down. Why is the Nine of Wands here? You got your guard up. Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. Yeah, you don't, you don't, you don't want to be taken for granted. So you got your card up. I don't know. Maybe this person just the way they move. Cause I see you watching them. And the way that they move is like, you know, it's kind of shaky. So you're trying to keep your guard up to make sure that you don't get hurt in a situation. So, and you don't want to get taken advantage of. One of the four pentacles here. Now, whoever you're dealing with, their energy is the four of pentacles. They're holding back. They're uncertain. They're uncertain and they're holding back. So they're not even giving you their all. Why are the two of swords here? Four of wands. They're uncertain. They are over here thinking that they should have waited. They could be trying to push you away. And we got the Seven of Wands and the Eight of Cups. This is definitely somebody pushing somebody away. So this person is holding back. For whatever reason, they're holding back. They may not feel... Uh, don't feel comfortable or they may not feel um, the four of wands is like home life this is being comfortable 
So that may just don't feel comfortable. So they push you away. I'm I'm definitely seeing like there is a sense of somebody who got control issues with the strength card and the five of swords. Like this is a power struggle. That's what it looks like for me. Like who's who's who what did I say? No, what did I say type of energy? I see you with the star card here. So you still got hope hope for the situation. Yeah, you got hope for the situation, but you feel it slowing down with the Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Like you, you still got that spark here with the Star card, but it's like the Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. It's like it's slowing down. You want a family man or a family woman with the the King of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles? Now the Ace of Pentacles is the outcome. Oh, maybe you got tired of asking for money. We got the Ace of Pentacles, Page of Cups, and the Four of Swords. That's what it looks like. Nine of Swords. So, yeah, there's some type of worry here. Could definitely be about stability. For sure. Yep, there's that Ten of Pentacles. Yep. You're worried about the relationship and the stability of the relationship. Like I said, it looks like there's been some type of argument and disagreement with the Five of Wands and the Three of Swords. It may be too many people involved. That may be the challenge. Too many people having to say so or being involved. And it's like out of the blue, all of a sudden, a conversation comes up and... That's when all of this is brought to the forefront. All right, let's grab some cards here from, let's just try to get some, let's go a little deeper. All right, so Tell me about the collective's person. What are their intentions? Tell me the collective's person's intentions. Oh. Talking. So, yeah, there's definitely some communication going on between you and this person. This person wants to talk to you, converse more. Um, we got awaited messages, aw awaiting messages to arrive, text, call, email, ho hovering. So this person could, like, be waiting on you to open up or talk more. Love call. Yeah, see, this person wants more expression from you someone expresses love a message of love thinking of you and letting you know okay so this person wants you to show them more affection that's what this looks like a message saying that you're thinking of them or showing you showing them that you care that's what it looks like the sword and the rose clarity truth revelation force honor protection and power so there is going to be some clarity on this situation. Like, there is going to be a, a real honest conversation about this. Give me one more card. Thank you. Um, Separation. A separation could be on the horizon after this conversation. This separation then came out three times. So, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. So, definitely, like, some of y'all, when it comes to your love life, there definitely needs to be an honest conversation, an open conversation, or either some of y'all are already separated or it's possibly heading towards a separation. Because the person that you're dealing with, they're already holding back anyway.
the dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out things coming to the light, adapt, change, and heal. So someone's coming to the light anyway. Like the truth is going to come to the light anyway. Somebody could be wearing a mask, not showing true feelings, hiding, pers personify, pretending, gaslighting. Your person could be wearing a mask anyway. Like they could be not being honest with you about what they want from you. Okay. All right. So that's the message that I have for the collective. All right. If, like I said, guys, if this message resonated with you, be sure to hit the like, comment, share, subscribe. If you're interested in booking a personal, my email address is going to be in the description box below as well. If you're interested in ordering from my website, guys, the information is in the description box below as well. All right. So I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao for now.